Now to growing outrage in Northern California where protests are planned this morning as former Stanford University athlete Brock Turner is released from jail today having served just half of a six month sentence for sexually assaulting an unconscious woman on campus. NBC's Gotti Schwartz has more on that including an exclusive first look at photos from the night of the arrest. Gotti, good morning. Good morning, Matt. Brock Turner was eligible for release after midnight, but it is most likely that he will be released at daylight, first daylight here on the West Coast, just like everybody else. And now that his case is closed, we are getting our first look at photographs of Brock Turner that were used as evidence in this case. Exclusive pictures of Brock Turner obtained by NBC News show the former university swimmer disheveled, his shirt torn after being tackled by two college students who saw him on top of his unconscious victim. These pictures taken four hours after Turner was arrested for sexually assaulting an unconscious female by a dumpster on Stanford's campus. In a police interrogation we were allowed to review, a detective questions Turner about the victim, asking, if you saw her again, would you recognize her? Turner responds, uh, probably not. Later in the tape, Turner says, my intentions were not to try and rape a girl without her consent. I was just trying to hook up with a girl. And after being asked if he knew where he and the victim were at the time of the incident, Turner simply says, we were so drunk, we didn't even know what we were on or where we were by. Turner faced up to 14 years in prison for felony sexual assault, but the judge, Aaron Persky, sentenced Turner to six months, which in California means three months for good behavior. Three months is not enough. The sentence caused a national firestorm, over two million people coming out in support of the victim, signing petitions to remove the judge from the bench. Since then, the judge has recused himself from criminal cases, but has launched his own campaign to keep his position with a website asking for donations for his defense. Some in the legal community say he should stay. We need judges that are not making decisions based on fear or based on um, public opinion. Turner is expected to return to a small town in Ohio where even there, some are concerned about his release, equally outraged about the sentencing. Quite frankly, I think it's ridiculous that he didn't get um, a longer sentence. Um, it's insulting, I think, to women that our judicial system doesn't take um, rape seriously. Now 21, Turner will have to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life. Turner will also be on probation for three years, most likely in Ohio. We are also told he has been banned from swimming competitively, as well as Stanford's campus for the rest of his life. Protests are scheduled here a little bit later today. Matt and Savannah. All right, Gotti Schwartz. Gotti, thank you. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.